first of all, I want to make a correction of something that Larry said. He said that it was the towers from the new plant that were making those strawberries. We have honeybees at Larry's farm. <laughs> those strawberries are beautiful, delicious, and wonderful. It's not from the Terry Nuclear. <laughs> it's my turn. Um, my husband and I have been doing Ohio Honey Company for 15 years now. Uh, at the beginning, we had no intention of ever becoming beekeepers. A gentleman friend had bees on our property for 30 years, and every place he'd hand us a jar of honey and say, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. But when he passed away, short story, we got the beehives that were on our property, four of them. And it was winter, we had to do something with them. We knew we had to cover them up. We found, had to find a local beekeeper. 15 years ago, there was no internet, there was no Google. We had to look at the yellow pages, and it wasn't under there. Uh, we had to finally figure out that it was through the Department of Agriculture, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, after that, we decided we were going to be beekeepers. Um, because that first spring, we had honey. What do we do with all this honey? Let's go to the farmer's market and sell it, which we did. My husband worked for Willoughby Lake Schools. I was a mortgage loan officer. The heck with that, we're going to do bees, because when you're out there with those honeybees, and they're, they're flying at you, and they're saying, get out of here, you put the roof back on our house, please. OK, so we're beekeepers now. And Ohio Honey now, after that, we've, after the farmer's markets, and we do belong to North Union as well, and some others. Um, and we found out that restaurants are very interested in our honey, so we provide restaurant uh, to fire and Michael Simons and Flying Fake and others. But, and that's, that makes you feel real good that I know that somebody's going to go over to Karen Small's Flying Fake tonight and have <coughs> something or make the Sunday brunch, and that honey that they're going to have is, is for more bees. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. <laughs> um, if, as far as what I would need in the world, in the world of beekeeping, we need good weather. <laughs> and I know all the farmers here are all for that. And we need, always need customers. We always want to have customers. We want, we don't want anybody to buy honey at the grocery stores. We want to say, always buy from a beekeeper. Because it's better and it's good for you. Uh, you can find out the benefits on your own. But um, also, what, what was the next one? Your vision 20 years from now. Well, my vision 20 years from now. Well, uh, actually, I'd like to keep doing what we're doing. And uh, beekeepers aren't usually old. So I'm still going to be kicking around here in 20 years. <laughs> um, we would, my vision someday is to be able to have a place where people can come to our, our house and see the extraction process and taste the honey as it's coming off of the frames and you know, have a little Ohio honey land. That would, that's something I'd like to have. But, that's been pushed aside for a while um, because we have our beehives scattered so so far throughout four counties right now that you know we go to Larry's farm, we go to somebody else's farm, and it takes time and, and uh, miles. So I'd like the gas prices to go down as well. <laughs> how many how many farms do you host bees in? We have about 14, maybe 15 different locations at different uh, and it's. Anywhere at those locations, we have from maybe two to ten beehives, and we're we're going on there. Um, we're going to try to increase it every year. We buy 20 more colonies, and we have a list this long of who wants bees in their property. If you're thinking of being a beekeeper, <coughs> go for it. Um, we know that you know. I'm working at the farmers market. People ask, "Can we come out to your farm?" And I'm like, "No, we're never there." But I want to learn about beekeeping. Fine. There's the Medina County Beekeepers Association. And recently, uh, just this year, they opened the uh, Greater Cleveland Beekeepers Association.org. If you're interested, go to the meeting. Meet some beekeepers. Let them show you firsthand what, what it's all about. And if you get the opportunity, be out there having the bees buzz all over you and find out about them because they're really, it's rewarding and it's our passion. It's much better than being a mortgage loan officer, I'll tell you. <laughs> so that's what we do. And if you have any other questions, you can always write to me through ohiohoney.com. 
And thank you very much, Peter, and thank you, everyone.